Denise with Dead Size Matter and we are at the Calgary RV Expo. Last day of the show, we're somewhat exhausted, <laughs> but we want to show you guys as much as we can while we're here. So we are at the uh, Airdrie location of Fraser Way RV and they happen to have the Cougar brand. So we've come to show you that. In this video, we're going to do a tour of the 2020 Cougar Half Den 24 SAB. So this is a pretty cool trailer and we want to remind you that the construction details of the Cougar will be found in um, another previous video that we'll link to here and you can check that out too. So this will be more of a tour and uh, also we want to remind you that if you're looking for specific information on a RV, new, used, years, manufacturers, that kind of thing, you'll want to go to rvreviews.net and I'll put a link in the uh, description where you can go directly to them and access the kind of information that we use in our research too. So just want to remind you that Corey and I are not the experts, but we have access to the experts. So if you guys have any questions about something that we've seen, we can get those answered for you. And uh, yeah, so let's go take a look at this great Cougar. We'll start here at the front with their fiberglass cap, which is nicely lit and they do have the rock guard. We always like having the rock guards as you're pulling your trailer and it's kicking up. Um, chassis and things have stayed the same. Your batteries would go there. And um, you know, you wanna check and see in that construction part, uh, how all these walls and things are made. We love the fact that there is an ease trough up there with a drip so that it gets the rain to move away from the side of your trailer when it's coming down. Um, they do have the electric uh, stabilizer jacks on these rigs now. Sorry, this is the button for that. So when you push that, the front jacks will, well, they're stabilizers, will come down and uh, get your trailer settled in for you. You also have solar prep that you can use. And they have what I love, careful of the door though, when you move this down, it is on a magnet, so I really like that about those doors. I'm not having to use one hand to hold it up. It doesn't have a little clip. It's not banging me in the head. It's just nice. So this is their front storage area. It's pretty darn big. And they do have this in-command system so that you can monitor wiring and that kind of stuff on the trailer. Um, I'd love to take you around the other side and I'll try and get back there, but uh, right now we're jam-packed in the show where they put these RVs pretty close together. So we're kind of going in the opposite direction of what we normally would. So moving down to the door here, you get a great screen. It's got the uh, bug thing and uh, comes down that way. I love doors with windows in them. So that's good. And it is a friction door, right? We know I like those. So you can put it wherever you want. These, This particular unit has two doors. So you're gonna notice you've got some aluminum fold up steps here. And then you've got my favorite kind of step at the main entrance door, which is where we're gonna end up going in. You get outdoor speakers, you get a really big awning, and I would suspect there's LED lighting in that as really most of them do these days. You get your plug-ins there for power, for cable, satellite, TV, that kind of thing. Uh, this particular trailer uh, is not the frameless windows, which makes me kind of happy, uh, but to each his own, right? The frameless windows are super popular. Another great door, and then we've got the sure step um, steps. So what we like about these is how stable they are when they come out. Um, just remember that you're going to want to um, watch where you're putting them out so that you're on a, a good stable surface there. But they do adjust, and they're super easy to lift up and put down, not heavy at all. If I can do that, you can do that. <laughs> so here's the other. Um, uh, button for the back stabilizer jacks 
and then coming around the back, you do have a uh, receiver for uh, putting something on there, like maybe a bike rack. That's what we put on ours is a bike rack. We are in Alberta. You can tow a boat. Oh, that's true. Well, I don't know about a, with a pull trailer. Yeah, I know with a fifth wheel you can, but I don't know that you can with a pull trailer. But rules are different in different places, right? So you want to know. And I'll see if I can get the actual uh, towing capacity or lift or weight that can go on there. You did, do get your spare tire back here, which I always think is more convenient. Like in the stressful time and situation of a flat, you want to be able to get at your spare easily instead of having to climb underneath and get it out from there. You do get a uh, ladder for a fully walkable roof and you have the ability to have a uh, backup camera on there. And I'm going to see if we can peek on this side. Oh, they've got tables and things, so I can't see. But I'm, I'm going to check for sure. But I think you're going to get a 30 amp hookup on here. Um, and there is a slide over here. So here's the slide. I know it's a little tough to show you that in the show, um, but it looks like an electric rack and pinion slide. There is the uh, bulb edges on it, and it does also have the flaps down the side to help protect uh, you know, water and debris. What it doesn't have is the awning, the slide topper that we would like to see, but I'm sure that they could put that on for you if that was something you wanted. So let's go inside and take a look. Come on. Okay, so this is nice, right? Um, I guess we're gonna start in the kitchen. So it seems like you get a pretty big uh, refrigerator here. Freezer. Close to the door so you can get a drink. <laughs> so let's see. Um, yeah, I can reach everything in there. So that's good. We like that. I did notice on my way in too that the uh, panel is here and it's also got your uh, holding tanks and that kind of stuff. It's reachable. Like we've been in somewhere they're really high. This at least is doable for me. So I like that. Uh, let's go into the rest of the kitchen. This is a nice stove. So this is the um, three burner propane stove with the glass top and a nice uh, backsplash. The, these lights can be turned off because they do use power, right? And then uh, that's a pretty decent oven. And then um, up here we've got the microwave oven. So it's pretty small. Let me just see, because I know people have asked me for size of things. So uh, that's about the size of the plate I'm putting my hand in there. So, I mean, it's a dinner plate size, right? Uh, so moving on, you do, this is not a solid surface counter, it's a laminate, but it does roll over the edge. So you don't have any seams. We really do like that. Um, you get a double undermount stainless square sink so that's a great sink it's quite large it allows me to wash it allows me to drip dry because they have the cutting boards that are split i can use half of it as countertop space and i can be using the sink in the other half so i do like that and this is quite a large uh, tap with sprayer so that's great i love that there's two windows here very nice and you still get all of this countertop space I like that a lot. So let's look at what we've got for covered space. Okay, so you know how the plumbing always gets in the way under a sink. You could still put quite a bit back there. You could still have garbage and there's that space up there that you could be putting things. So that's nice. Uh, for drawers, two. There must be something underneath here that stops them from putting in more. Um, but they're nice, they're on the metal glides, full extension. And then if we go up, okay, so this is a great storage, but I don't know, I can't reach it. And it goes way back into the corner, so that would be tough for me. There'd, I'd need some kind of grabber, I'd need a stool, I'd need those kinds of things. Put, put stuff in bins. Wow, see that's good. 
that's a lot of space. Now, it's, it's deep, but you just want to put some kind of shelf or some bins or something like that so that you could use the height of it. Okay. Uh, we're moving into the dinette area, which is nice. And this is going to um, make into a bed. Uh, I like the size of it. It works good for me. I like this. It's sort of a vinyl material, so it would wipe up really easy. Um, table is, uh, I like the fact that it's on posts. It's a sturdy table, uh, although I wish that it had the same kind of stuff that's on the countertop that rolls over the edge. Loving this window. Just because it's got two things. It's huge. It lets in a ton of light. I like that. And I don't know if you can see or not, but it's on a slider. So for me, that's good airflow. Uh, these are single pane windows. So if that matters to you, you want to check into that. Let's take a look at our blinds here. Uh, so these are going to be complete uh, darkening blinds. Completed. You've got LED lights here. Let's see what's up. So again, I mean, these are big. There's a lot of storage in there, but I would need to put a shelf or some, some kind of system so that you could really take advantage of the height of it. But you could figure that out however you want. Yeah, it ends there. And there's more here. Yeah, so I mean, that's a ton of storage. Uh, TV, and I'll see what I can do about going through the brochure and getting you the uh, size of that. Got an entertainment center there, and you've got some more storage in there. So that's handy. While we're down here, um, the vinyl flooring is quite nice. They are lightening up the colors in here because that's what you all have asked for. <laughs> Uh, so they're trying to you know brighten the place up i do notice that they have venting in the floor which uh, just means that there is a, a cutout in the floor so hopefully they framed around all of that and i do like the fact that this is uh, not in your main walking area what's in here oh wow that's huge i love that okay do we get another one on this side yeah, we do. I love drawers underneath these seats because then I don't have to struggle. I don't have to reach in there. I don't have to lift the cushions up. I really like that. So I also noticed there's an electric outlet there because I don't see any others there in the kitchen, but there is one down on the side. Moving over to the slide, this is where your couch is. Now, this is a pretty comfortable couch made of the same material that the dinette is. Um, and it's going to make down into a bed and just Okay, so it's gonna these cushions come off and it's gonna fold out this way um, So I mean really you're sleeping the bedroom the dinette and the couch if you want and you've got these uh, big windows as well with a slider on this side What do we got up here? Okay, so more storage. It's not as deep, but it's really accessible, easy to reach. So I like that. And then moving down here, this is a big cupboard and that's got all adjustable shelves in it and another big drawer. So that's a lot of, I love that because first of all, there's their drawers. They are long, they're deep and there's three of them easily accessible so I really like that now let's go over to the bathroom okay so this bathroom has two doors you know one into the bedroom um, coming in your vanity area this is quite a big sink um, usual taps got a plug-in you got a nice uh, cupboard here the mirror is good storage Let's look here oh my goodness that has good storage even with the plumbing there's lots of room in there uh, you also get your uh, Dometic toilet with foot flush and I'm just gonna get in the shower here Coming. <laughs> I've got a lot of room in here the skylight up there this is the general standard of 
plastic surround and you're on the uh, base this is not cocked and, and they they're very confident in not cocking things so you know that's up to you I guess um, nice base I don't feel you know any weak spots or anything like that nice glass doors and Corey will like them because you can't see through and they glide, they seem to move nicely in there. Uh, standard fixtures, so no problems there. Yeah, and I mean the bathroom is big enough that you can dry off and get dressed and all that kind of stuff. You do get a fan and I'm just looking for heat ducting. So I don't see any in here in particular. Uh, you do get more storage up here and it's quite a bit of storage it's a bit tough for us to reach but you know it's there so let's go head into the bedroom now there is a door on the other side and i'll show you that when we get in there but come on in so this is a uh, fully walk around bed but it is kind of tight and the reason for that is that this is a uh they're calling a king it is 70 by 80 inch bed so it is a pretty big bed um i'm not sure if you can have the option of making it smaller or not you'd have to ask your uh, salesperson when you're at the dealership um seems like a fairly comfortable bed you do get a window over here you get uh, a closet storage there now you do have to step up see these spots here you do have to step up all of that to get in so really you're only walkable to about here on the bed um, which is better than not being able to get around the bed the only challenge I see with that for me anyways is reaching up to here to make the bed I love that there is a nightstand down here that's totally important to us with a cubby in it and I see USB and electrical back there. So all nice features. Then there's also storage up there, which would require me to stand on the bed, but that is completely standard in pretty much any trailer with storage above the bed. So we will take it. Now I'm just gonna go around to the other side. There is heat ducting here. There is AC ducting. There is a vent. Your LED lights and up in the roof on that side is also hookups for TV if you so desire. You get all of the same things over here with the closet, the cubby, that kind of thing, and you can walk around. There's also another exit here. Uh, some people love that, some people don't, so you know, whatever uh, floats your boat, I guess. We kind of liked having it when we had other people um, or Courtney sleeping out on the other beds you have access to your bedroom and your bathroom without disturbing folks so we liked that um, so that door is there there is this sliding door that also goes into the bathroom to give you another entry exit point into the bedroom and we'll go back out there and I'll tell you why I think that's important come on through so what I want to point out is that when our slide is brought in it's coming into probably close to here which would block where you guys are in the door to the bedroom but what's significant is that you can come in the door you can have access to your kitchen all of your cabinetry your stove you have access to your dinette you have access to your couch and your bathroom and then you can go through that slider door into the bedroom or you can come from the outside entrance into the bedroom so really it gives you a full access to the trailer even with the slide in so i think that's very significant because when you're at the grocery store and you're loading up in the parking lot you don't necessarily want to open your slide and you don't have to in this case. When you're stopping just for an overnight, you don't want to open your slide, you have access to everything. So I think this is nicely laid out that way. So now let's take a look at the numbers. So again, this is the 2020 uh, Cougar half ton 
24 SAB. So let me find the details for you. The weight, 6,061 pounds. The carrying capacity, 1,739 pounds. The hitch weight, 640 pounds. You get 60 gallons of fresh water, 38 of uh, black water, and 76 of gray water. Um, 60 pounds of propane, the length 28 feet 4 inches, and the height <clears throat> 11 foot 4 inches. Now I want to just make sure because they do put different options on different trailers which can change prices and it can even change weights and things so you'll want to make sure that when you're looking at one you're knowing what all of the uh, options are so we did mention that this had the electric rear stabilizer jacks on it it has the uh, vintage maple glazed hardwood cabinetry so that's going to be the doors and then it'll have plywood boxes a 12,000 BTU rapid recovery six gallon gas electric hot water tank eight cubic foot refrigerator the the accessory hitch two inch accessory hitch with a 300 pound capacity. So that's important to know. 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner. Uh, oh, I was wrong. It's a 50 amp electric. So that, that's quite a good amount for this size of trailer. 35,000 BTU ducted furnace, uh, heated holding tanks, heated and enclosed dump valves, uh, it has a Wi-Fi prep. Now I'm just looking for a price. I think it must be outside. So we'll go take a look at that and show it to you. And if you've liked this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you have any comments or you're an owner of one of these or you have a question because we will have access to the salespeople and the reps so we can answer questions for you. But this is a wonderful trailer and I'm excited for you if it's the one you're getting. Thanks for watching. So here at the show today, the 2020 Keystone Cougar 24 SAB is selling for $38,490 Canadian dollars.